This week's edition of Bear Down with Brian Jeffries is presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the official U of A Visa debit card. Our guest this week is Kier Kresa. He's a freshman from Estonia, obviously getting set for his first season as an Arizona Wildcat, and I know the fans are excited to see him on the court. And Kerr, first of all, I'll be the last one to welcome you to Tucson and uh, tell us about your stay so far since arriving here in Arizona. Mm, so far, so good, I guess. Um, in the beginning, uh, I mean, it's still a process. I'm still adjusting, uh, adjusting with food, adjusting with uh, in general with Americans. People are so different the, compared to Europeans and especially Estonians. So, I mean, but so far I love it. Uh, I have no complaints about anything, no. All right, so speaking of food, what's been your favorite American food so far? Well, I think, I think in and out like this is the safe one. in and out like the fast food, from fast food side, it's in and out But uh, I like some restaurants that are near campus, like Jimmy Speeda and place like that. So I think um, these are my two, two favorites so far, yeah. Okay, so what's your go-to at in and out You have a favorite burger there? Yeah, I have a, I have a burger yeah, from there without, uh, without onion rings, so uh, this okay. is really good. So who? Who hasn't tried it, go try it, it's good. All right, so what, what food do you miss most about home back in uh, Estonia? Uh, I just miss my grandma food. My grandma makes the best food, so my grandma food, whatever she makes, is the best. So I think that's the, that's the main thing I, I miss. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's a typical dish? You, grandma cooks for you. Uh, what would be something that she makes? I mean, you mentioned you like all of her food, but give us an example of something that you really like. Uh, potatoes, like the, the really classical dish, I guess, is with potatoes, uh, some uh, meat next to the potatoes, and then some salad. Okay, sounds good to me. Maybe she can uh, send over a shipment sometime. That would oh, be cool. oh uh, <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> Be fun. Well, you mentioned that uh, Americans are different from Europeans, Estonians, um, and I guess you see that all around the world. What's the first thing that stood out to you about uh, the American people when you arrived here? The people are so nice. Like uh, that—that that was actually uh, the first uh, first thing that I really recognized in from the very beginning. That people are really nice to you. They actually care about you. They they talk a lot. Um, if I compare Americans to Estonians, then Estonians are more like, I would say colder in some ways. Uh, but I guess it has to be, it has to be the weather also, which makes what makes the difference. So if, if you have this kind of weather here, you have to be happy, you know? Yeah, well, we all are. And, and I know you're happy to be here too. Hey, what is your given language, Kurt? Sorry? Uh, what what is your 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 language your your first language you learned? Uh, it's Estonian. Okay, and and does that compare to any other European languages, or is that it's? It, it, oh, I mean, we have some similarities with Finland, but in general, it's. Uh, I mean, it's it's our own language. It's completely different than others, and uh, yeah. So when you went to Lithuania, and I want to ask you about playing over there, do they have a, a totally different language? Oh no, their language is crazy. No, this is uh, this is completely different language. Completely, completely different. Yeah, everything is different there. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about growing up as a, a young basketball player. What got you interested in the sport? Uh, I mean, when we are all are small, I guess like we all like to play sports and do some activities. But uh, as I grew up. Uh, as I more grew up, I guess my dad kind of like, not pushed me, but you know, he kind of moved me to play more basketball because I played um, when I was actually, when I was uh, like seven, eight years old, I wanted to be a football, a soccer player, sorry, because your football and soccer are different things. So yeah, I wanted to be a soccer uh, soccer player, but then yeah, my, my dad kind of a little bit guide me. And then, yeah, I mean, I'm so, I'm, re I'm really glad about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, your dad was an outstanding pro player in Estonia in his own right. W when did you first kind of see him in action, and, and did that help uh, enhance your your basketball interest? 
Uh, I mean, I saw him since I was like really, really small, but I just I, I don't remember it, you know. Okay. I was always in the gym when he had practice and stuff like that. I always had like basketball when I was small. So, uh, but like I have some memories when uh, when I like grew up more and like I have some because he was playing abroad. Then we played uh, we lived like abroad with the whole family, so I have like. A great great memories out of it and some games that I actually really remember what my dad did and stuff like that. Okay, so you didn't know when you were born that you were named after Steve Kerr, former great here at Arizona, of course has gone on to the NBA and now a coach. When did you realize the connection between your first name and, and Steve Kerr, the Wildcat? Uh, I mean, actually I have, uh, I have asked my dad previously also. Uh, about like the question uh, with uh, with Kerr because obviously we all know who the player is. He was a really good player, and but he's always been like uh, he his pride is a little bit different. So he doesn't he doesn't like to say that that yeah I put it your name because of him. But obviously that was the case. And when um, when uh, Coach uh, Murphy started to recruit me, I had no idea that Steve played here before. So, um, so one of the first pictures that actually Murphy Murphy sent me was uh, was the picture that it's uh, uh, the the shirt Kerr is uh, uh, in the rafters in in McHale, right. and then he was like, you know, your shirt is already here. And when I saw the shirt, that actually did my research, and I was like, damn, like he actually played there. Yeah. So it was kind of kind of funny coincidence, but you know, so everything is uh, for a reason. All right. And is that why you picked his number, number 25, when you saw his jersey? Or you always I, mean, I mean, no, I never wore 25. Uh, I, think, uh, I think it's a great challenge for myself, wearing that number. I know, I know that uh, I have, uh, like, a big shoes to fill. Uh, uh, I think it's also exciting for the fans, so they can kind of, like, you know, the older fans can a little bit feel, feel the old times. So... Uh, and also to yeah to keep me just humble that if you want to wear this shirt with uh, 25 on the back then you need to really work. Right. Well, Steve, of course, was a great uh, three-point shooter, great outside shooter. Uh, you're known for your great shooting ability. When did that become the strength of your game? Uh, I think it's kind of developed uh, throughout the years. Uh, I mean, I like to shoot, especially when you make the shots. Then it's uh, the games are so so fun to play. And uh, but uh, yeah, I've been working on my shot like throughout the years, and uh, yeah, it's kind of one of my strengths now. Okay, this past summer you had a chance to play some uh, tournament ball in front of a, a lot of fans. I understand. Uh, tell us a little bit about that experience. It was great, uh, especially playing against Lithuania. Uh, I played uh, against. Uh, some of my old teammates, you know, I was uh, I was really humble. We never beat as a country Lithuania before, uh, so uh, the experience was not. Uh, yeah, it was really nice. I can't lie. Okay, hey, uh, w when you grew up, when did you? When was your first exposure to American basketball? Did you watch college basketball on TV? Did you watch the NBA? Uh, I didn't follow the college basketball at all. Basically, I followed the NBA a little bit. But since the time difference is uh, is so huge, you never like watch the games on the live. You just you know check the scores and like who scored the most and stuff like this. But um, I actually started to consider college last summer, last August, after my European Championship, when the like first school started to recruit me. And then uh, I was just I didn't want to really close the college option, so I just kind of like kept it open. And uh, then, uh, yeah, like the past season, I really, it was interesting for me also to follow the schools, how they're doing, who are recruiting me. So uh, past season, I watched uh, a lot of college basketball. We're talking with uh, Kerr Krisha, a new freshman guard for the Wildcats. You arrived here in Tucson here over the, the summer, not too long ago, Kerr. Uh, take us through your, I'm just interested to know, your plane flight, your, your connections, how you made it from... Estonia to Tucson. Yeah, it was terrible. Not going to lie. It was terrible. Uh, so I flew from Estonia to Latvia, Latvia to Germany. I stayed overnight in Germany. 
Then I flew Germany to Netherlands, Netherlands to LA, LA to Phoenix, and then I, and I, then I drove with car from Phoenix to Tucson. Okay. So it was like so the trip was like over, like with with staying overnight, it was like I don't know forty hours. Okay, well we're glad you're here. Hey, one last thing. Uh, I was just I was looking at your hometown in Estonia and. Down in the town center, they have uh, something called the Kissing Students Fountain. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. And my first thought was, well, all the students go down there and kiss, but I noticed that it's the it's a statue of two uh, students under an umbrella kissing. Is that kind of the, the center of town? Is that where everybody hangs out? Uh, yeah. I mean, my hometown is uh, also a university town. It's, uh, it's known as, uh, we call it uh, like university town in Estonia. And uh, I mean, I'm not sure if people actually go kiss there and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, there's uh, nice restaurants around it. It's uh, it's like our town hall, and uh, it's it's really a really nice place to be. All right, Kurt. Great having you here in Tucson as a member of the Wildcats. We look forward to seeing you on the court very soon. Yes, thank you, and I'm excited also. All right, Kurt Kresa, new Wildcat. That's this edition of Bear Down with Brian Jeffries. We'll see you again next time.